Hi everyone, this is Anni Kumar from Mathematics and Computing Part 2 from IIT BHU and I am back again with uh, Data Structures and Algorithms Coding Contest, the second problem of this contest, Perfect Powers. So let's jump directly into the problem statement and analyze what the problem says and how we are going to approach this problem, okay. So basically in this uh, problem, we have been given an array consisting of n integers where we have to find the number of subarrays that satisfy the following condition. So what is the condition here? Uh, the subarray that is product of the numbers in the subarray is a perfect cube. That is a perfect cube of a positive integer x, let's say, okay, where p is the product of the numbers in the subarray. So again, I have an input format as t denoting the number of test cases, then n, and the next n space separated integers denoting the array elements. So so we have to find finally the number of subarrays uh, whose product of the numbers in the subarray is a perfect cube of any positive integer x. So we have to print this answer for every test case. Okay. So let's jump directly into the problem statement. So problem analysis, how we are going to do this problem. So the best way to understand this problem, to consider the case where we have to find the number of subarrays whose sum is 0. So if we understand this problem, then this problem of perfect powers named question of this contest can be solved very easily. So if we have the, uh, let's say if we have to find subarrays whose sum is 0, total number of subarrays. So what we have, what is the approach that we are going to find? We are going to do this problem that is find the number of subarrays whose sum is 0. So in this problem, we are going to do, we are going to maintain a hash table that is map uh, to store the prefix sum up to each indices in the vector. Also, if at, if at any time the current prefix sum is found in the map again, that is suppose at let's say index equal to 2, we have found the sum equal to 9. And again, if index equal to let's say 7, we have again found the sum 9. So what this is going to denote? This is going to denote that is from index equal to 3 up to index equal to 6, the sum is going to be 0. That's why we have we have found again that prefix sum for the index 7 whose entry is already already present in the map. So that's the key point of this problem. Okay, since we have found the subarray having some 0, we are going to update the occurrence in the map by 1. So if we have understand this problem, how to do? our actual problem that is of perfect powers becomes very easy. So let's understand that, okay, suppose we have a, uh, we have to find the number of subarrays having some zero, okay. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take the prefix sum and store in the hash table also. Uh, suppose I'm, uh, our initial entry in our hash table, that is map, our initial entry is zeros uh, frequency is going to be one for simplicity in my calculation, so I have taken this. Now let's iterate in the array and take the prefix sum along with. So our current prefix sum for index equal to 0 for this array containing 6 elements, 0, 6, 3, minus 1, minus 3, minus 4. Let's say our current prefix sum up to the index 0 equal to 0. Note that this entry has been already present in the map. So our answer is incremented by 1. So let me write, our answer becomes 1. And what I am going to do is I am going to again increment zeros frequency by 2. Now let's move on to the next index that is our next index would be 0. Oh, let's say uh, we have this as 0 for the 0th index and our next prefix sum up to the index 1 if we consider 0 based indexing would be 6. Note that 6 is not present in our hash table. So what I am going to do is I am going to increment that is, let's say I am going to add the 6 frequency as 1 and our answer would be in this case would again answer 1 plus 0 would be again 1. Then our next entry for the map would be 0, 6 and prefix sum will give 9. Again, our uh, this 9 is not present in the hash table. What I am going to do is I am going to remain as our answer as 1 because 1 plus 0 is 0. And I am going to update my hash table with 9 equal to whose occurrence is 1. Note that hash table is going to maintain the prefix sum frequency. Again, our new uh, new array of prefix sums would be 0, 6, 9 and 
if we add minus 1 it would become 8 note that again answer is going to be 1 answer would remain 1 and our frequency table would be updated with prefix sum 8 whose frequency will become 1 again our new array would be like 0 6 9 8 and 5 here again our answer becomes 1 because we haven't found 5 whose entry in the hash table now now comes the trickiest part that is 0 6 9 8 5 note that we have found 4 so if we update 4 uh, with our current sum so our prefix sum becomes again 9 note that 9's frequency is already present in the hash table so what I am going to do is I am going to update my answer answer equals answer plus maps let's say it's it is denoted by MP um, we are going to update with 9's frequency that is going to become 1 plus 1 it would become 2 so uh, I am going to update 9 with 2 so what this 9 is going to denote here prefix sum here we get prefix sum as 9 so this 9 is going to denote we have a subarray that is that is you can see we have a subarray now last 9 I have got at 0 1 2 second index that is here and again 9 we have found at this index so what this index is going to denote that is this index is going to denote we have a prefix sum we have a subarray let's say whose sum is going to be 0 that is as you can see 4 minus 3 and minus 1 would sum up to 0 so this is going to denote we have a subarray whose uh, sum is again 0 so we are going to do this using hash table so our but actual problem that is let's say we have an example with n equal to 5 I have taken this example from the problem statement now I am going to discuss my actual problem perfect powers with an example so what I am going to do is so let's discuss approach first because it will make the concept much more clear so okay so what I am going to do is I am going to store the prefix prime factorization of product of the numbers up to current number modulo 3. Okay. So I am going to store, let me write, okay. I am going to store the prefix prime factorization for product of the numbers up to the current number. That is suppose for the current number, let's say we are current index at equal to 3. So I am going to first take the, the product of the numbers up to the current index. And then I, then I am going to take the prime factorization. Then I am going to take all the occurrence. So let's say if we get prime factorization up to the current index as 2's frequency as 7 and 3's frequency as 5. Then I am going to take modulus of each frequency with 3 for simplicity for solving this uh, question. So let's understand this first. So whenever we found the current vector again the map update the answer. It will be just similar to the problem find the number of subarrays having some zero note that I have found nine then I am going to update nines update my answer with the frequency of nine that is already present in the map okay so here I am again doing the same thing whenever we found the current vector that is current vector denoting the prime factorization of prefix sum pre sorry prefix product then I am going to update that frequency which is already present in the map and I am going to update my answer with that frequency. So I am going to iterate till all the elements have been done. So let's move on to this understanding of this example. How we are going to approach this. So for simplicity I am going to initially update. Just similar to the case I have taken the hash map. Uh, uh, initial occurrence as 0 for 0. I have taken the frequency as 1 initially. Similarly I am going to take. Let's say in this array we have only the frequency of 2's sorry the prime number as 2 and 3 that's why I have taken 2 power 0 and 3 power 0 as frequency of let's say I am going to write let me write here our map of 2 power 0 and 3 power 0 frequency is going to be 1 initially okay now if we encounter 27 so our new uh, new frequent new vector containing prime factorization of prefix product would be 2 power 0 plus 3 power 3 okay note that I am going to add 3 power 3 power of 3 to this 3 okay 
so uh, our next would be if we take the modulo 3 so it would become 0 so again uh, note that this entry 2 power 0 into 3 power 0 is already present in the map so I am going to update my answer with uh, so our answer would become 1 because this entry 2 power 0 into 3 power 0 is already present in our map so this is our when we encounter first index that is completed the first index our answer is incremented by 1 so again if we take product as 1 that is 27 into 1 so again we encounter 27 so no extra powers is going to be added so our vector of prime uh, prime factorization will be like 2 power 0 into 3 power 0 note that this occurrence this occurrence is going to increment it by 2 due to the previous uh, occurrence of prime factorizations of vectors so this is uh, this would become 2 so now i am going to update my answer with uh, 2 that is 1 plus 2 is going to be 3 note that i have in, uh, completed only these two indexes as you can see by visualization also 27 is a perfect cube of 3 and 1 is also perfect cube of 1 and 27 into 1 is also perfect cube of 3. So our answer up to the current index will be 3. Again if, if I am going to use this 2 so I am I have a extra power of 1 of prime number 2 so I am going to update this 2 power 0 with 2 power 1 modulo 3 that is again 2 power 1. So if this entry is present in the map uh, then I am going to update my answer note that this entry is not present in the map so my answer remains same that is 3 but our map will contain also 2 power 1 and 3 power 0 oh, whose frequency is going to be 1 due to the current index again if we encounter 4 so I have an extra power of 2 for prime number 2 so I am going to update 1 with 3 and if we take modulo with 3 it would become 0 so I have uh, this set of prime numbers note that this set of prime numbers is already present in the map that whose frequency is 2 so note that ok this frequency is going to be changed to power 3 so I have uh, I have update with my answer as 3 so this would become 3 due to this also and this one previous also so this would be 3 so this set is already present in the map so I am going to update my answer with 3 that is our answer would become 6 here as you can see now uh, finally I have 2 here so I am going to update my this power note that for this 2 power 0 into 3 power 0 our final uh, entry in map would become 4 because 4 entries have been done and finally we have 2 so 2 power 1 will be going to be appended that is going to be added with prime number 2 that is 0 would become 1 modulo 3 that is again 1 2 power 1 and 3 power 0 note that this entry is already present in the map 2 power 1 3 power 0 whose frequency is 1 so I am going to add 1 this also so our answer would become 7 finally I am going to update this also for if we have further elements for their further calculations so this question is almost similar oh let's say this question is almost similar to the problem to find the number of sub arrays having 0 if we treat the numbers with uh, if we treat the numbers prime factorization clearly or will uh, let's say uh, with more carefulness okay so let's move on to the code for better understanding okay we have a prime fact method here as you can see which is going to store the prime factorization of the current product that is current prefix product so note that here I have done the prime factorization when the frequency is going to in, uh, increase or becomes greater than or equal to 3 I am going to take modulus or take each time modulus with 3 ok if n not equal to 1 again you can see ok now comes the main function so I have taken the number of test cases and the length of the array and we have a vector v that is going to store the prime factorization modulo 3 for the product of the numbers up to the current index as I have told you now I have a vector that is that is actually a mapping of the current prime factorization of prefix product up to the current index comma ll that is going to store the frequency initially I have for simplicity in my calculations I have incremented by actual what I have incremented my every entry that is 2's entry as 0, 3's entry as 0, 5 entries as 0 with 0 whose, uh, whose uh, frequency Every, each frequency of that prime number is actually 0 I am going to uh, uh, I am going to increment my this vector entry in map as 1 
okay now i am going to iterate and store the answer that is if i am going to uh, achieve my element that is from the input a first i am going to prime factorize and update my vector v uh, with modulo 3 also then i am going to add, add my answer as mp of v if this set of vectors has been whose entry is already present in the map i am going to update my answer with that frequency and uh, if okay and now as you can see each time i have updated what i have updated my uh, entry in the hash table if that uh, set of vectors that set of prime numbers that set of prime factorization of prime numbers frequency has been already found i am going to update my vector that is mp of v plus plus finally i am going to print the answer so this will pass the all the test cases hidden and sample test case also so the question becomes easily if we understand how to find the sum of uh, to sorry the total number of sub arrays whose sum is going to be zero the question is almost similar to that so if you have any doubts do not forget to mention uh, in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video join my telegram channel in my description section of the video and do subscribe to my youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video